Hello all, welcome to my channel Codify with Sonal. Today we are going to discuss a very basic topic that is good programming practices. So whether you are coding in Java or you are coding in Python or JavaScript or any of the tech stack. So we will learn what are the good programming practices. Okay. So let's start. So what is good programming practice? You should write a readable code. The code should be easily maintainable by consistent naming conventions. Okay. We'll see each one in detail. Okay. And commenting effectively, modularizing your code. Keep it simple and reusable. So next comes code readability. You should use meaningful variable names that describe what the variable represents, not like ABC. Okay. When you're writing a co code which is product going to the production or anyhow, you should use meaningful names. Okay. Comment your code to explain the complex logic. If your code is having some complex logic, just write down a comment over there so that if tomorrow you are not using that code and somebody else is trying to understand the code, walk through the code, it becomes easy for that person, right? And write concise function that perform one task. So this, uh, you know, uh, Java has one thing called a solid principle that if you follow code readability is achieved in a very convenient way. We'll discuss that maybe in some another tutorial. So next comes proper indentation. So what some people do is they mix up the spaces. Okay. They mix up tabs and spaces. They'll do, uh, use spacebar also. They use tab also. Have proper indentation. If you are not sure and if you have that habit, make sure that you do a control all and select everything and then do a format of the code. Okay. Format indentation. Next, consistent naming conventions. That's what we just now discussed. Use a descriptive and meaningful name. Follow consistent naming pattern throughout your code. Not like now you're using something uh, different style, camel case. You, generally, it should be a camel case. But you should use the same kind of naming pattern everywhere in your code. Avoid using abbreviations or acronyms that may not be understandable to others. Okay. Next, use of comments. We just now saw we should write comments to explain the purpose of code. And comments should be lit simple, okay? It should not be that you're writing a complex logic and over that you're writing a complex uh, comment, okay? Update comments as the code changes to keep them accurate. Next, testing and debugging. Testing and debugging are very crucial for building high quality software. Follow a structured process to identify, isolate and fix errors in your code. There should be a proper structure that should be followed. Use TDD approach, test driven development approach. But your testing and debugging are very, very important guys. Follow a proper structured way. Now code optimization. So, uh, in lead code problems also, we see brute force. Okay. So, understand that. There are three things, brute force, better approach and an optimized approach. So brute force is the approach where you think you have to solve the problem anyhow. Okay. So that comes your brute force approach. Then you have to think, is there a better approach I can do it? Okay. Somehow you can reduce the complexities in the code. You can make it more simple. Okay. And third thing should be, how can I optimize it to the best level? It should have efficient data structures. Avoiding premature optimization. Okay. So optimize your code by removing duplicate code. Minimize the use of global variables. Use effective, efficient data structures and avoid premature optimizations. Okay. Always go for brute, then better, then optimize. Don't think I will write optimized code at the start. It is not possible. First, write the code what is actual code has to be done what is your problem solve the problem first then you think how it can be solved in other ways so that's it for today guys thank you for listening to my presentation on good programming practices let me know what you want to see more in detail about this and uh, stay happy let's codify with sonal in the next video please like share and subscribe my channel do not forget to hit the bell icon to get a notification of the updated video thank you